What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to give you my five, my five, my top five tips that you should know or five things you should know going into season five. Now this video is going to be real short and sweet guys. I'm just going to kind of break some very important things that you need to know going into season five, which I think is fantastic. I mean, season four was an absolute blast and I really think we're all going to have a very, very good time going into season five. Five. Now, number one, the first thing on the list is I made a little thing here is the uniques. Okay. Season five will have updates to every single unique and they will be very dramatic. They are going to break the game when it comes to this. At least this is what the devs told us that they would do. Now, uh, just, just for clarity, we did get a few of the uniques that were like, you know, put into the game and they were changed, right? This includes the uber uniques or now new mythical uniques they've buffed and changed absolutely all of them all right so just for a few examples guys here are some of the uniques that are just absolutely busted in that they changed i know that some of these have been really really like you know broken down and some of them have changed slightly but just for the purposes of the video and what you're going to be looking forward to going into the season a lot of these things are pretty busted i'm just going to highlight some of the mythical uniques here because a lot of the regular uniques are incredibly strong, but I do want to highlight some of these. Like Shaco, for example, absolutely busted. We're getting 20% cooldown on this, which is just insane on top of everything else. It is pretty busted. We got Andy's helmet, which has changed. I think it's going to be better with the attack speed, but the lifesteal being changed to just life on hit, I still think it's going to be fine. Tyrael's might, absolutely insane, guys. The resistances, you will never never have to worry about resistances wearing this uh mythical unique melted heart again grandpa pa 300 percent increased damage guys busted okay so the devs are really really looking forward to making things really really strong and busted going into season five it's going to be a short season so i think that players are going to be very excited to like experience some of these changes and just have a blast like kind of being like super overpowered into season five now the next step okay number two okay we're gonna go back number two the biggest thing right here guys is the uh angels breaths okay angels breaths and the legendary drop rates legendary drop rates have gone up but more importantly angels breaths would no longer be used when you're going to respect or enchant at the occultist now we will be using the armor coiling wards the weapon bail for fragments and then the jewel the jewelry blah 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 the jewelry abstruse sigils okay so for example what that means is what you're going to do is you come over here to the enchanter and instead of it costing our you know 13 or you'll still have veiled crystals but instead of the thousand angels breast that i have that you can burn through so so quick in this game now what it'll be is when you go into your resources it'll cost the the abstruse the bail fills and the coiling wards on top of the veal crystals now you guys can see all the numbers that i have here you get these from salvaging legendary armor legendary weapons and then legendary jewelry so as you're progressing through the game into world tier three into world tier four it's going to be very very easy to get this stuff i mean just going through dungeons defeating bosses you're going to be getting these like crazy and i think it's going to bring a lot more balance to crafting or at least um enchanting i should say in season five the only thing that i am a little worried about is obviously veiled crystals are always a big issue and then gold i know that there's a cap now but everybody seems to be very low on gold to a degree so uh we hope that that will still be balanced very well but this is a huge huge change this is very very good now number three guys which i think is huge for especially for players who want to do group play okay first the world bosses have a resilience so now the world bosses are super buffed so all of your like public events with world bosses is much better but more importantly the pit changes pit bosses damage have been reduced by 66 percent across the board which means you're going to be able to push farther into the pit there's still going to be a shadow debuff but in, in they did they did make sure that the one shots weren't as bad but you will still get a debuff stacking up to three times and you can still get one shot but with the reduced da uh like damage done by the bosses this should feel a lot more a lot more should feel better now what i will say the biggest change that i'm excited about is group play in pits before the pit mats whoever opened it got 100 and everybody else got 50 now everybody gets 100 which is just fantastic when you come over here to the pit man i mean 
it was one of the things that I actually enjoyed doing back in Diablo 3 with Greater Rifts and just kind of having that party presence. And, you know, once we're able to really start doing you know support builds like a support rogue or a support barbarian these kind of things playing the pit is going to be so much more fun and i think a lot of players are really going to resonate with this because this is also going to open up us leading into the group dungeons in the expansion in season six which i think is going to be really really cool but now that everybody can get the rewards from doing the pit i think this is really going to open up the end game especially for players who last season really struggled with getting their gear leveled up past level four. There was a majority of players could not get their master regarding items to eight, nonetheless, even to 12. So this is really, really gonna help players, you know, kind of do this and expand. Now for solo players, you know, if you're already solo in it, then do your thing. But I think this is a humongous change and I really do love this. So for players who finally get to the end game, party up, go do the pit. It's gonna be very beneficial for you. Next, number four. Are we on four? I think we're on four, right? Next, this is probably one of the biggest changes that I think it's in like season five or the game. Throughout the past few seasons, the EXP bonus from killing higher level monsters is no longer capped. However, this is just a uh, oversight here. It's actually capped at 30% because now that you're able to go in and keep your profane mind cages, the profane mind cages have been kept into the game, not internal, not in the internal mode, but in season five. So now we're gonna be able to stack these three different times to give our monster levels increased by 30, which will also increase our threat gain and our cinder drop, which makes doing the hell tides even better, right? But because the cap is now 30 levels higher than your player level, now we're able to gain even more XP. So what this means is, is that when I go in and I stack three of these profane mind cages, one, two, three, the monster levels are going to be 133 because remember monsters in the hell tide are three levels already higher than you so you're going to add 30 and you're going to get a hot or 33 levels higher which is going to cap you at the most xp so on top of all of your potions when you get into a party you will be absolutely capped now this is going to really really help you level very very fast in this game i think the devs still want it to be very good for players to get to level 100 and some didn't so this is also going to be very very good for power leveling your characters in season five so once you get your initial one done power leveling is going to be so much easier because now that cap is higher so i think that this is going to be a really good change for season five last and certainly not least is the infernal hordes the season five theme guys everything up to date on this you really got to look forward to this this is going to be able to get access starting in season three which i think is really really cool for players who want to access the kind of new content a little bit earlier on before they get to world tier four but there's been humongous changes with this so they fixed both health boss health bugs they fixed the pace of the mini events so it's faster the waiver time is shorter and your pets now pick up aether which is just great uh, so the Infernal Horrors, let me go back and find the other one. The Infernal Horrors is just so much better than what it used to be uh, from the PTR. Now, the Compass's drop rates to be able to access the Infernal Horrors has been increased. You can find these much more often and easier, especially the higher tier ones from doing Nightmare Dungeons in the Pit. Compasses are also craftable at the Occultist, which you can use with Sigil Powder and Forgotten Souls. I think this is super cool. You can upgrade these with Abyssal Scrolls for players that are on the go. And the first compass drops from the Eternal Quest once you complete it in Season 5. So a lot of these changes are so good for Infernal Hordes. We're going to be able to go through and do this even at the start of season or season three world tier three and you can really start going after those loot chests where like it's gear guaranteed greater affix items gold if you really need it materials if you really need it and it could just be something that can be really fun as you're progressing through the game i think the infernal horde mode really you know took a big a lot of flack in the ptr because of you know it was a little easy it took too long but then the rewards were bad and all of that has been changed and buffed so i think the infernal hordes game mode is going to be awesome so that is something that we're going to be looking forward to in season five now those are my five tips or five things i wish all of you guys know in diablo 4 season 5 they're really really good ones they're important ones when it comes to your materials and activities that you want to do in the game especially when it comes to your xp your gear leveling end game activities all this great stuff so 
Make sure to like the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know some of the things that you're looking forward to in Season 5, which is great. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.